Hey everyone, welcome back to Fire Force Season 2, Episode 3, called The New Flashpoint. Uh, the begin beginning minute I already watched, it was just like pretty much a recap of what the chick said last week that was inside of Shinra's head. So yeah, uh, if, again, I'm uploading Yakuza 0 as like a side like kind of thing. That's going to be up every single day. Like, that's going to be my long running series because it's more of a walkthrough. So it's like not going to have really much any edits. So it's going to be like a pure just start to finish kind of thing because i wanted people to experience that game and just see it if you haven't seen it, i know the game's been out for a while now but one of my personal favorite games of all time and game series of all time so if you if you do me a uh, favor give that like series some love if you don't want to watch it it's fine it's up to you because uh, you know this is, the channel is based on reactions or whatever so all that being said let's go into fire force it's pretty usual to lower the video on the audio for white copyright strikes Man, I really, I really love the style of this show, man. Like, and like the manga, Okubo's style in general, it's so fun to look at. It's never like a dull, even, even when they're just talking, it's really like fun. All I know is that Funimation announced like a new like arc. I think it's like episode four through six or something, or like they announced that that's the next arc happening, so. I don't even think you have to write an apology, Tim. <laughs> He's a masochist, man. He took all those hits just to get a little peek. And she's so cute, like so adorable, looks so pure. Like, her and Iris are probably, like, the most normal <laughs> people here. Yeah, because right now we have four. She mentioned, obviously, herself or whatever the person looks like. Because, obviously, she was using, like, Iris's form. We got Sho, Shinra, and Haumea. So, there's a fifth pillar, which is interesting. Yo, last week, Arthur showed out, man. He almost sliced his head off. That shit looks like a lightsaber, though. That's so cool, though. It, like, pla like it was a plasma, right? Oh, the, the chief. That's the first time we see him. My boy Obi's in a suit. Man, my man has big hair. <laughs> Ripped straight out of the like 70s, like hard boiled like shows. Interesting. So I we've already known that the eighth was like a special like like division, you know what I mean? Like it was like one people really didn't like, I guess, quote-unquote, respect or even consider, like, serious. Because of one, like, the place that they're at and, you know, the way the, the the leader of it didn't even have fire powers and stuff like that. So, it's very interesting how, like, the chief just straight up said, that's why I gave you the eighth. You guys, he's pretty much saying that the eighth can borderline do whatever the hell they want. Which is interesting, because, like, every other branch, like, they, they're, because they're also, every other branch is also intertwined to something, like, science, or, like, you know, politics, or, like, you know, what are they, this, they're, they're into something else, that, or technology, so it's, like, the eighth is, like, not connected to anything aside from, like, obviously, like, their own bosses, which is cool. They really had to cut to black so they can drink the coffee, okay. <laughs> This man smoked like eight, <laughs> eight or nine cigarettes in that whole meeting. Oh, is she the next? Is she the the next pillar? It's like Krona with boobs. 
Like the same hairstyle. Yeah, she looks exactly like Krona. <laughs> Very similar. Actually, no, she's way cuter. <laughs> it's a, it's like when they do that that nose thing that like makes like the tip flat. <laughs> hey, yo, the Jason man, yo. This little school girl does she she's like in her edgy like <laughs> phase. What the hell? She put on no she she's running a mini gang. Homeboy just pulled down the Jason mask. <laughs> the other one. How old are they? Like they look like they're borderline like what high school? Oh an electrical fire. It's funny when people smell fire and they're like, hmm, what's that smell? So is she the fourth generation? It could be a fourth generation thing. It seems that like she could see like, like, I don't know, fire energy? Interesting. So she can literally predict when, when or where fires are going to be. But she... What, when did Panda become like the, the therapist of the group? What the... Like, how old are these kids? She's... What? This dude became like a whole therapist. He literally broke down her head, her whole. <laughs> she was like, "Yeah, you don't, you enjoy things when, like when you're going in the fire." Oh, God, that 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 first pillar is creepy. Okay, so so far from Inca's character, or whatever, I like her. She seems just crazy. I mean, not much to go off aside from like her. Like her motivations and like why she likes the fire and likes the danger pretty much um but overall she seems like very interesting uh but it was just funny how the homeboy just became just broke down her entire psyche it was like yeah but you're you're fighting not only are you robbing people but you're robbing people only when there's like a, a fire scene happening and this this and that and, she, and it's like Okay, you just broke down her entire character. So yeah, so that's interesting. And she's also a, uh, like a high schooler, middle schooler, whatever. I'm assuming high schooler because she's pretty tall. Huh. But she can't produce flames. So I'm like, what is, what's, what's her deal? One, two, three, wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven fires are about to explode out. But yeah, she's 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 a little bit she she got a little screw loose. She's like, oh, I like that little snap. Bro, yeah, that is pretty dark. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if how she's gonna be a good person, but. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm gonna scrap the whole I like her kind of thing, because that's pretty, that's pretty not good, the way she's just, like, or, like, having fun orchestrating people burning to death. I know she doesn't have, like, control of that, but she's just like, hey, time to make money. Oh, they, oh, that's awesome, they put a, bro, what?
Bro, they keep updating Maki's like stuff and it's it just gets better and better. Maki's just chilling in her VR headset. Same with same with Vol <laughs> Oh, that, that's a poster right there. You saw that? But can she... The question, I guess we'll find out soon, but the question is, can she see when, like, a fire user ignites their flame? I'm probably right. Ew. I don't know how I feel about her like outfit because she looks like a big baby, but she's like built like a 25 year old. How, how the fuck did he shoot? What? <laughs> what did he do? He just... All of this! He was your homie. I mean, I guess just an acquaintance, but... Goal start. Wait, oh, that is so raw. Oh, her eyes changed. Yo, she like follow. Wait, so okay, that's awesome. That's a, that's so raw. Also, she. Yo, that that power is so raw. I mean, granted, he's tanking it like nothing, but I love I love Karen because he just he's also intent and then he's just chill. The Shinra! Fuck yeah! Oh, he didn't move. I'm assuming the more. Uh, yep, definitely. I'm thinking the people around him that hype him up. Yo. Yo, Karan is, Karan is the rawest. My man just swept him across the floor. He used him like a broom. Why is he always so cool? I'm thinking the people around him that are chanting are like giving him power or boosting him. Yeah. 
I don't know about Gorilla. I don't think you should say that, Shinra. But <laughs> I don't know about that one. But no, j jokes aside, that was so... Let me see if there's any after credits. Yeah, no, we're good. That, again, I mean, I know it's a joke and old and tired, but that was so fire, man. Inca's power, how she can follow, like, the like the lines that she can see. It reminds me of, like, obviously, like, the Sharingan observation hockey. She can, like, essentially sense whatever fire source is either coming near her or about to activate or just anything. Because she, like, the little lines are him. Like, you saw the big, thick one with her shinner when he came down and kicked him. I love the fact that she can, like, follow and then click goal. Um... So, I don't know, that that, pro, that proxy question, I mean, I know she probably activated now because it says start and then goal. Um, but that proxy question, has she done, maybe un, inadvertently, like, done it before where she's, like, following the line or whatever? And she, you know, like, I mean, she was, like, snapping and shit before. Maybe she inadvertently caused them, but obviously not. Obviously, because everything was, like, way out of her range. I don't know if she has a range. I don't know. A lot of questions with her power because whatever. Again, I may be just wrong in general, and maybe just only when you see Star Goal it activates, and that's her like ignition thing. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go with that. I don't think she can control, she calls all the other fires, but the action is phenomenal. The story is getting good, like even better. Oh man! Again, Inca Inca is a little has a little screw loose, you know. She. Uh, I think she, obviously I think we'll get her on the eighth division because she's like oh custody yeah I don't want to be in jail, but once she finds out like the eighth is all like you know like basically like no holds bar like do whatever you want you know under under Obi but do whatever you want, um and, and like a lot of rough housing so it's it's interesting but all that all another great episode I only far, to me Fire Force has never had a bad episode just saying that just putting that out there so let me set up again make sure you guys leave a like subscribe comment. Share the video out, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.